Hi everybody, today I'll show you how to create a newsletter pop-up in WordPress. So let's just begin. Alright, so to create a newsletter pop-up, that is really easy. The first thing that we need to do is to install the plugin. So for that, we have to go inside the plugin and click on add new plugin. Here you have to search for hustle. And as you can see here at the top of the search, we have the hustle by WPMU tape. So this plugin helps us with the email marketing, lead generation, with the opt-ins and the pop-ups. So we're going to simply create the newsletter pop-ups with the help of this plugin. Okay, so I have already installed and activated this. So after installing this, what we need to do, we have to click on the hustle here. So in the hustle, we actually want to create the pop-up. Okay, so in the hustle, we only want to create the newsletter pop-up. So that is really easy. We don't have to go anywhere else. We have to click on the create here, but in the pop-ups. Okay, so let's click on the create. Or you can also click on the pop-ups directly here. And after this, what we need to do, we have to click on the create again. Okay, so we simply write down the name of the pop-up as a newsletter. So we have the two options. The first one is email opt-in and the second one is informational. Since we wanted to create the newsletter for the users to join our email list. So that is why I'm going to simply go with the first option. So let's click on choose template. So here you're going to see multiple different templates and all of the templates are looking really good. And you can also customize them. So you can see this, we can simply create the newsletter from the scratch. And we also have a lot of the different templates here. Okay. So you can simply choose any newsletter based on your requirement or the choice. So I'm going to simply go here with this one. So let's click on preview. And this is how it is looking. So I think this is looking perfect for us. So let's close this and we're going to choose that one. So let's go back and click on choose template. All right. So here you can see this. We have the different options in our pop-up. So we have the content, we have the emails, we have the integrations, appearance, visibility, and the behavior. Okay. So let's explore all of the options one by one. So in the content, we have the title. So if I wanted to change the title, I can simply do this from here. And if I wanted to add the subtitle, I can add this from here. So let's just add the subtitle here. All right. So that is our subtitle. And after this, we have the images. So if I wanted to add the background image, I can add this. Or if I wanted to change the featured image, I can also do this. And in the last, in the main content, we have our content here. So if I wanted to add something additional, or if I wanted to delete this, I can simply do this from here. And after this, we have the call to action. So if you wanted to add call to action button to your newsletter, you can simply do this. So if I just click here on the one button, we can have a single button on it. And if I click on the two buttons, we can have two buttons on our newsletter. Right now, I'm going to go here with none. And after this, we have the option to enable never see this again link. If some user doesn't want to see our newsletter again, so they can simply click on Thanks, I'm not interested. So that will be a kind of a link. Okay. So after this, what do we have? We have the email. So let's click on the emails. So in the emails, you can see this when we saw our template, it was a single option to add our email. So if I wanted to ask anything else other than the email, I can also add that. So if I just click here on the insert field, you will be able to see I can ask for the name, phone number, address, website, text, number, and you can also see the other options here. Okay, but right now I'm going to go here with only email that is already added. And after this, we have the submission behavior. So if someone does the submission, we can show them this text. Thank you for joining our weekly newsletter or something else or whatever we want to add here on the success message. And also I can add the redirect here as well. Okay. And in the last, we have the automated email. So this would actually send the email to the user's email when I enable this feature. Okay. And after this, we have the integrations. So in the integration right now, we only have a single app of the integration that is local list of the hustle of this plugin itself. And if I wanted to add any other app with the help of integration, I can also add this. Okay. And after this, we have the appearance. So in the appearance, you can see this, we have the four different layouts. The first one is the default. The second one is compact. And the third one is opt-in focus. So let's choose this one. And in the last, we have the content focus. Okay. And in the customized element, you can see this, we have the feature email. So we can customize the image here. So we can customize the alignment of image, size of image and fitting and position of image. And if I just click on the opt-in form, you will be able to see form layout, form field, 
and in the form fields you can also see the field icon okay and in the last we have the close icon so if you wanted to change the position alignment icon of the close icon i can also do this from here and also the size of it and after this we have the typography so you can simply explore this or these options and we also have the colors and we also have the advanced settings here okay and if i wanted to enable the custom css i can also enable this and after this we have the visibility so in the visibility by default the new setter would come up on all the pages of our website but if i only want you to make this visible on the specific pages or the specific posts or anything specific i can also do this from here so for that i would have to add the condition here so let's click on add condition and i only wanted to put this on the pages and you can see the other options here so we have the post we have the landing page we have the templates and you can see the bunch of different options here okay so let's click on the pages and i only wanted to have this on the home page okay so i can put this on all the pages and i can add the name of the page on which i don't want to have this and i can also select the specific number of the pages here so let's click here only these pages and right now i only want to go here with the home and also the about that would work fine for me so let's click on publish now all right and after this we have the behavior so in the behavior you can see this i can schedule the pop-up and after this we have the pop-up trigger okay so in the pop-up trigger we have the different options so if you want to trigger the pop-up by time that will be delayed by three seconds normally then it would be triggered by time if we want the newsletter to be triggered by the scroll we can enable this thing and also the other options here so we have the exit intent we have the click and the add block and we also have the animation setting so if i wanted to add the animation setting i can also add this so this would be something like maybe this one and this would be something like this one okay so on the entrance we will have the bounce in up and on the exit we will have the bounce out down okay and after this we have the additional closing method and we have the closing behavior we have the additional settings so you can explore these options by yourself all right so now it's a time to test our newsletter okay so let's just click on update now let's just click on our website so we only selected the two pages the first one is the home page and the second one is the about page so now you will be able to see our newsletter here okay now you can see this this is how it is looking and i can go back here and i will simply remove these animations because this is not looking really great so let's just disable this to no animation update this and also in the appearance i would have to put this to the default that wasn't looking better so let's click on update again now let's go back refresh the page now you'll be able to see our newsletter here okay but still the design is not looking really great okay so what we can do here we're gonna simply go back and from here we'll simply add some width all right so you can see here we have the border spacing and the shadows so we have the custom values here and after this we have the pop-up size so here we have to change the width so i'm gonna change this to 800 px in the width now I'll simply update this now I'll simply go back refresh the page all right so now you'll be able to see the design here of our pop-up so this is looking way more better than before so let's close this and if i click on the about we'll also have our newsletter pop-up all right so you can see here but other than that on the other pages such like the services project and the contact we won't have our pop-up so if i just click on the services you won't be able to see the pop-up here all right okay so the last thing that i wanted to share is that if i just click on the home again so it is automatically appearing after a few seconds okay so that is a kind of a trigger for our pop-up so i can also change this if i wanted to so i'll go back into our pop-up and here you can see the behavior so in the behavior you can see this we have the pop-up trigger so here we have the five different type of the trigger so we have the scroll we have the click we have the exit intent and the add block so right now i'm going to simply select the scroll 
and I will simply disable the first one and let's just update this and let's go back to our website refresh the page now you won't be able to see our pop-up until we do the scrolling okay so if I just scroll down now you will be able to see our pop-up okay so can you see here so this is how it works okay so that is how we can change the triggers if you wanted to and this is how we can create the newsletter pop-up in the wordpress so if you really find this video useful hit the like button and subscribe the channel